In this video, we're going to be looking at the brand new update from OpenAI for ChatGPT. I'm talking about the new 01 update, and it's been released in the last week, and it is an absolute game changer. And by the end of this video, you are going to have five unique prompts that you know how to use, and then also how to use it to take it to the next level. I'm going to show you each prompt in real time, how the new version of ChatGPT, the 01 model, uses it, how it problem solves it, and then how it actually breaks it down, how it worked out the answer and gave you the result. You'll be very surprised, but going forward, this is a very unique way of how you can approach using prompts. Now, comparing this to ChatGPT 4.0, the reason this is such a step up again is because they have advertised it, they being OpenAI, have advertised it as being even smarter, basically taking even longer to give you a better answer, a more in-depth answer. It can handle more complex questions, scenarios, challenges, all of the above like that. So first up, we have a content planner. If you're a content planner, how does it work? How can you use this to benefit you? So here is the prompt. Create a 30-day content calendar for, for a tech review YouTube channel. Analyze the top performing content from the last three months and include content ideas that align with emerging trends and new features in our niche. So without further ado, let's hit enter and it's thinking so this is the first bit that's quite amazing now look at this you can see it has a drop down menu it has the, the ability to basically see what's happening so if we press this now we can see this is what it's going through this is what it's thinking it's mapping out the trends taking a closer look pinpointing the top content and it is absolutely yeah and then there you go and, it, and you can just see it's producing the content here at the bottom it's going down through the days but then also at the top look where it says four to for 21 seconds that's the length of time it took for it to think of the content and then give you the result and it gives you the breakdown of how it happened and you know just go through the days and this is uh, <laughs> this is really crazy i have to say and then you know going on and then you can just basically let's just pick i don't know let's go to day one for example you know day one iphone 15 pro max is it worth the upgrade description you know an in-depth review of the iphone 15 pro max then you know day three and you can just go on and on and on and you get the idea you know day 30 q a live stream answering your burning tech questions and then it just says at the bottom this calendar strategically incorporates top performing content themes from the past three months such as an in-depth product reviews the iphone samsung Fold 5, Apple Watch, and stuff like that. This is just one way how you can use it to help generate better content plans and at the end of the day, deliver you or your clients or both better results. This is why it is so powerful. So the second prompt now gives you an example of how you could use it to problem solve. If you're stuck on something specific or whatever it may be, this is how you could use it to benefit you more. So here is the example prompt. You are a professional digital marketer. I need to solve decreasing engagement rates on Instagram. Please break down three potential solutions, evaluate the pros and the cons, and then rank them in order of effectiveness with a probability of a, of a success for each. Sounds pretty good. Let's hit enter and see what it generates as a result. Number one, revamp the content strategy with audience centric approach. Then it gives you the description, the pros, the cons. Number two, leverage Instagram's interactive features, the description, pros and the cons. And again, number three, implement targeted advertising and promotions. And again, pros and cons, and it gives you the overall uh, ranking and recommendations. And again, I mean, I don't really notice myself, but it's very interesting how it can just help you do this and how detailed it is. Now, obviously you could go in once you have this information, prompt it further, get even more information from it. But again, this is just incredible. And another example of how you can actually leverage this to generate results and take it to the next level. Now, the third option, let's say you're someone who's at university or is studying and needs help being able to study, you know, you need a plan. Well, this prompt is for you. Create a six week study plan for mastering Python programming. Break the plan into weekly goals and daily tasks and include recommended resources, practice tests, and test management tips. Watching this in real time, all of the time is really, really fascinating. I do have to say crafting a structured plan and then you can just see again crafting the python curriculum understanding python fundamentals which again is very interesting understanding oop concepts can't say i'm familiar with any of that sort of stuff object object orientated programming 
interesting. And then there we go, straight away. We have the menu, it's giving us links to different things as well. So we'll check out what they are after. Nearly there, it's still going, we're still going. This is very detailed, I am impressed off a basic prompt. And again, look at the detail of this in a different way. Off of a basic prompt that you put in is able to basically, instead of you having to prompt by prompt do this like a chain link it does it automatically for you it saves you time time is valuable and you know this is yeah online courses we've got links to online courses by adhering to the six-week study plan you'll develop a strong foundation in python programming i believe that i actually do believe that so i mean look let me just go up. I'm not going to read for all of it just because of the length of it, but let's just go resource. Automate the boring stuff with Python, chapters one and two. Let's see if it actually works. And it does. It takes you through to the website to read through. I mean, I'm impressed, really. Uh, what's this one? Parameters and arguments. Real Python defining your own Python function. Does it work? Is it going to click? Okay, so this link doesn't work, for example. It's not working for me. Maybe you'd have to regenerate it, but you get the idea, right? This is only in preview still, so it's not fully released as the 4.0 model is, and uh, it's a powerful tool. So this is prompt number four. This one is very interesting because it's effectively acting as a business strategist. So this is an example of how ChatGPT01 can effectively operate as a team of business strategists working personally for you. And obviously the more detail you give it, then the better it can do. But let's just read the prompt example. You are a business strategist. Develop a 12 month growth plan for my e-commerce store, focusing on customer acquisition, marketing strategies, and revenue streams. Include quarterly milestones and metrics to track progress. Seems good. Let's hit enter and see what it does. And I mean, again, think of this as having a whole team of people, business strategists, working for you and effectively it is in a sense working backwards in the sense of when it does all the thinking elements you give it the detail it works it all out then it gives you the the answer effectively and then obviously you can go in prompt it more make it more unique give it more details about your specific business plan and it will give you the best results but i mean this just off of the prompt just to see what it can do more generally is pretty impressive conclusion by following this comprehensive 12 month growth plan your e-commerce store will strengthen its market position attract and retain more customers and it goes on like that but again just to scroll through it quickly I mean, there's a lot of detail right there. Now, this is the final prompt example. Imagine you are a creative writer, someone who just loves writing for any sort of reason whatsoever. It's your job, your hobby, whatever. But this is a prompt that can help you take your writing to the next level again. Now, here's the example. I've done this one with a little bit of a twist of fun. Review the following passage. The Future Fuel Cafe is the best YouTube channel for videos and podcast videos about AI because Danny, is the funniest person we know and most entertaining because of his British accent. Suggest improvements in tone, structure, and flow while keeping the author's voice intact. Explain why you made each change and suggest three alternative, alternate ways to enhance the narrative. Well, without further ado, let's see what it says about my amazing British accent and uh, me as an overall person because everything there is true and I didn't write it myself. For sure, oh, sure, yeah. sure. And so actually straight to the point, not too long, took it 11 seconds, the revised passage. The Future Fuel Cafe is the best YouTube channel for AI videos and podcasts because Danny is the funniest, most entertaining person we know, especially with his British accent. So see how it's just took that and made it sound even better, the flow is even better and again explanation of changes combine videos and podcast videos into ai videos and podcasts regard reordered the phrases for better structure improved tone and flow and alternative ways to enhance the narrative so you have the three different options there as well and finally these enhancements aim to improve readability and engagement whilst preserving the original enthusiasm and endorsement of danny and the future fuel cafe so there you have it that's how you can use these five unique prompts to leverage your business your ability in using chat gpt or chatbots as a whole using ai prompting as a whole to further your career your understanding and at the end of the day to improve your ability and your results in whatever way you want to do it but its ability to be able to help you has gone from here with the four O model right now to the next level with the O1 model and for me there is no slowing down with it I think it's only getting better and better and this just shows you how good it is so make sure to try to try out the prompts below they're going to be listed in the description so copy paste them let me know the results let me know how you find them in the comments down below thank you very much for watching make sure to like comment and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video bye